guys. First time RVers, how y'all doing? There's the little one. I just ran into the car. It's <laughs> all right. This video is going to be about how we get that golf cart into the back of that truck. We've had a couple people ask how we do it. So let me show you here. If you're wondering what you're seeing there, we had a sprinkler system put in and those are the trenches they had to dig. But anyways, back in the day when I used to have to load up my lawn tractor, I'd go into like an easement area like this and I'd back my truck down and you could pretty much drive right on. We had that as an option with the golf cart at home, of course, but we don't always have that option when it comes to campgrounds. So let me show you, hey, here she comes. So we had to think of something else. And I think I said in the last video, I was up all night thinking about it for a couple nights and trying to figure out what to do. First off, get yourself a good set of ramps. These have, if you can see right here, they have the arch at the top. They're not a straight ramp. You're gonna want that arch. Makes it easier once you get to the top to get in. And then what I went ahead and did is I made these. I'll show you what they're for. So what I decided to do was go with a winch. I watched some videos, saw what other people had done. So that's the route I went. Now the next question was, what was I gonna do? Put it up the top of the rail there, the bed, put it down low. But what I ended up doing was putting it on the golf cart itself. Here it is. It's a Badland brand from Harbor Freight. I actually got it off Amazon, so I'll put the link below for that. But I connected it right to the golf cart. You gotta buy this separately, this plate here. It's like five bucks, I got that at Harbor Freight. It was like five dollars. Next question was, how am I gonna get power to that? Do I tie into the 48 volts that are coming out of the golf cart? Then I'd have to get something to reduce this 48 volts worth of power down to 12 volts to run that winch. What I decided to do instead was put a secondary battery right here and we hooked the winch straight to that, strapped it in and luckily there was a nice little spot there. So I'm not a big electric guy at all. I just kind of read up on it, watch videos, things like that. But I do know this, without an alternator, how am I gonna keep that battery charged? So what I do is, I purchased this relatively inexpensive battery maintainer and float charger. Again, Harbor Freight. I'll put another link below for this. There's your item number. Basically what this does is just plugs into a regular 110 outlet. Sorry, we had to get out of the sun, it was bright. So basically I take that trickle charger with us to the campground. It'll take a few hours to get the battery up to full strength again. And every week or so, I'll just put that trickle charger on from home and uh, keep it maintained. And that way it's ready to go for the next trip. So instead of putting the winch inside here, I put a D-ring in here and I reinforced it with some thick, it's about quarter inch thick steel from the top and from underneath. So that way, I mean, it's stupid for me to even pull up on this, but it's pretty much in there. And that way it'll spread the weight a little bit. All right, well, let's go ahead and show you how we're gonna get the golf cart up in the back of the bed of the truck. All right, well, first things first, we're gonna get the ramp set. We've done this a few times, so I know just about where they need to go as far as being centered. And then just put a little bracket here to slide and hold it in place. Put both of these on. And I'll make sure they're centered where I want them. They come with a strap that luckily is great for hooking right into my Pro Pride hitch. Hook those on there, pull them tight. It 
So that's what it looks like. Those pieces I made will hold it from going left to right or splitting apart. And then you got these straps hooked on right here on my Pro Pride hitch, pull tight. And that'll hold these in place. I mean, it takes a lot to get those to move. Right, Maddie? Here's a few things you're going to want to remember. One is to take off the parking brake before you start to load it. And here's number two. Make sure you lift up your seat. Under here, at least on the easy go, you're going to find a switch that has run or tow maintenance storage. You're going to switch that to tow maintenance and storage. So that way you know you're going to be in neutral and the wheels are going to be free flowing and you can get this thing winched up into the back of the truck. So I'll keep the winch hooked up to the D-ring. There's a little play in there, it's not real tight. Make sure you set your parking brake to keep it from moving. We'll throw a couple straps around it to help. All right, now it's time to get these ramps off. These ramps slide nicely right up under here on top of each other. I'll put those to the right and then I'll be able to store some other stuff here to the left. You're gonna want an eight foot bed if you wanna do this. You maybe could do it with a tailgate down, but I don't know that I'd attempt that. But it fits just perfect. We got it strapped down in a couple spots. Just to kind of help here. And down there. You can see even with the eight foot bed, we do have a little bit hanging out there. There you have it. All loaded up, ready for our trip. That's how we get our golf cart up into the back of our truck. May not be the way you do it. May not be the way you think it should be done. If so, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you would do differently. Give me some pointers. I think anyone out there can use pointers with stuff like this. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share with your friends, comment. We love reading those comments. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. If not, click and go to another video. And also, if you click that notification bell that is right down there, I get that wrong every time. I think they keep moving the bell actually. Maybe it's not me, maybe it's them. Anyways, click that bell. That way you'll get notified of the next video which is going to be filmed the next few days. We're heading out to Willow Tree in South Carolina. So we'll be uh, filming our stay there. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.